2K has been trying to beat NBA Live in this one department. They just dropped a new game, so it's time to see if they finally did it. Man, y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video, let's get straight into it. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you guys are looking at is an outlier. This is one of the very few NBA 2K titles that has released that's well reviewed. People just started tweeting this at me saying it was better than 2K21 next gen. It's time to start your career, create the type of player you want to be and take your first steps in the road to the NBA fame and glory. <laughs> Of course, you could change all his primary generic attributes. We're calling him Antoine Ingram. We'll make him a point guard, left-handed. We'll rock number 30. Okay. Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, 2K. The hell is going on here? Whoa. Okay. They got different pie charts and they got badges. Again, this system was not perfect when they tried it on console. I imagine it's not going to be perfect here, but I did not expect this. Wow. This is basically NBA 2K20. <laughs> and now we choose our team. There's no hesitation here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going with the Raptors, baby. I can't tell if I I hate this or I like it. Well, here we go. We're playing now. Let's go up with a shot here. And there's a shot meter in the game. The game is running well. My phone doesn't feel too hot right now. At least not yet. The UI seems intuitive. It seems responsive. Have you ever heard me describe a 2K game as responsive? That has never come out my mouth before. Go up, go up, go up! Come on, Agent! Yeah, baby! Cross this way, cross back this way, Agent. Come on, do something saucy. Agent, 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 you're... Ooh, I'm in the free throw line, baby. All right, that's buckets. There we go, big buckets. And there we go, more buckets. I missed the second one? Oh my God, I like it. I know my standards is very low, but you guys have to have played the other mobile games they've tried. That's the only reason my standards have gotten this low. So a lot of the same systems in NBA 2K20 are transferring over here. I mean, the teammate grade system exists, as you can see. I've never been much of a mobile gamer and for a lot of reasons. One, like I have dual SIM on my phone, so my battery gets drained really quickly. When you play games, it drains even faster. But man, am I genuinely impressed on how this plays right now. Oh yeah, blow by baby. And one baby, and one baby. Come on, Pat Flynn, come at me. I was tempted. I was tempted. What's Duke doing right now? Bro, it's, it's 1234, bro. That's true. It's late. Where your mom said? <laughs> Where your mom said? <laughs> There's the black top, which of course. Can you play on different courts? Nope, just one court. And it's called Park, by the way, on the bottom left. Just one court, and they called it Park. Just Park. And then probably the part that I'm most excited about always, because I'm a multiplayer kind of gal. Multiplayer. You can play online blacktop, you can play with friends, and you can play online NBA. Let's go blacktop. This game came out about a couple days ago, and it's already had 5,000 reviews, and most people are rating it pretty well. But I think where I'm gonna find some fun is when I play online and get to play on some rural people. So hopefully this feature works. Oh, wow, it worked. Oh, connection lost. Okay, hold on, it's working. I'm readying up, and boom, we're loaded. Oh, 2K, I'm trying to have fun! I'm matchmaking for far too long, 2K. Put me in a game. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Whoa, whoa, I just finally got a game. Bro, this guy's a cornball. If you saw me choose Embiid, why would you choose LeBron? And then when I chose Tatum, why would you choose? He's a cornball. All right, I'm about to skunk him. We are aligned with it. Uh, I can feel the latency given 2K's server status. I almost expect that at this point. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it is lagging. Cash, gets a good shot. Oh my God, Joel Embiid, you gotta get a fucking rebound. It is currently lagging. It is unresponsive. Giannis Antetokounmpo is putting up buckets. All right, let me do a little hezzy. Cross this way. Blow by. Take it right to the 10. Yee. Hey, good block, good block. Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Why? Why did you do that? I'm, I'm lagging. I can't click the buttons. I clicked it an hour ago. Still uncontested, according to 2K. Yet the game has become a lot more interesting the second I went online. So I just, ooh, good poke. I, I don't think he's gonna shoot at all. I think he's just gonna drive the whole time. Give me that. How? Yo, it is very difficult to play, considering how bad it's lagging right now. Ronnie, fix your fucking servers. Throw the alley oop. Throw the alley oop. And you missed. Please, I need this, I need this, I need this. 
Oh, good rebound. And we out. Oh, yeah, baby. I, I, I hate those. I shoot right back. This guy has a goofy cornball. He has LeBron, Giannis, and AIs guarding me. Green, 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 green. Good block. Good block. Way to play defense. Good way. Uncontested, by the way. The lag is starting back up. What the hell? Bro, is that a clock? Oh, we got to hit a three. It's lagging in the middle of my shot. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And he could just hold it for the clock if he's smart. That's what he's going to do. And he wins. All right, now it's time to compare. This NBA Live has had a mobile game that's been incredibly popular for a very long period of time now. They've pulled in a boatload of cash to the point where their console version is wildly irrelevant. All right, make some moves. Use the virtual stick to control the direction of your highlighted player. And move the blue zones to the court. Oh my God. The way he dribbles, it feels good. Been a minute since I played this game right here. What's next? What's next? This is how you shoot. Two point jump shot, press and hold the shoot button and release once the meter hits. Cash. Hey, although NBA Live feels absolutely horrible on console, I'm not gonna lie, the gameplay actually feels pretty smooth on mobile. Run up, run up, run up. Dunk, baby. All right, so that was the quick little tutorial teaching us how to play. Let's begin your NBA franchise. Continue. Uh, let's go with Giannis. Oh, that is not Giannis. <laughs> I have been bamboozled. <laughs> Objectives are important tasks to track and complete in NBA Live Mobile. Let's go and take a look at some training camps. Gabada, 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 gabada. Look, I got my overall top, my level, some points, some coins, some cash. There's like 16 different currencies to choose from. So I know this has been like a huge money maker for EA and jumping into mobile. And this is part of the reason why 2K even felt the need to dive into mobile. I don't, I don't wanna say it's overwhelming, but like Jesus, what the? Man, what? Calm down. Why is there so much? I understand, this is probably dope for the people that play this all the time, just to level of depth, but like, man, is it a lot. Like, I'm just clicking on one thing. Let's just start off with training camp, click play. Let's spend five coins to play. Okay, short three-point shooting contest. Make as many shots as you can before the time runs out. Got it. And we go. Boom, cash. Boom, cash. Boom, cash is not really that apparent on mobile, nor do I think the people that play mobile really give a f about that. I mean, before even really diving deep into this, I can immediately tell that this mobile app is infinitely more deep and probably more fun than the 2K one. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Okay, I come over here, click pass, boom. Are you kidding me? That is a drill? That is a drill? That's the drill? One more should do it? That's all I gotta do? And then that's it. So after they get you hooked in the process of upgrading and there's millions of challenges and events going on, take what you learned and close out the game with the win against the Mavericks in the fourth quarter. Got it. Okay, defend your lead. All right, all right, I know how to do that. Wow, is there like aim assist or something? There is. Rebounds. Good boards. Pass it up, 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 pass it up. He oh, I got stuffed. Okay, I can tell the gameplay is NBA Live now. All right, well, let's dribble the ball up the court. We're all wearing white jerseys. That's an oversight. It's actually difficult to tell who's doing what at what point. But man, I can't tell this is NBA Live, man. This gameplay will fly for mobile. I'll tell you that much. I'm not pissed at the gameplay at all. Steal! They let me steal that? Oh, the difficulty gotta be on low right now. You gotta be on low. Pass it out, pass it out. Cash. Fake out. You just performed a great tactic to mislead defenders. Thank you for a fake out. I appreciate you letting me know what that was. <laughs> Hey, hey, the game feels responsive. I know I'm playing offline, so that doesn't mean much, but big blocks. Ain't no way. Hey, this NBA Live gameplay is atrocious. I'll let it slide, though. Good screen. Good screen. I see you on the cut. All right. Big blocks. All right. Come on, Barrett. What you got? Yes, sir, baby. I guess we won. So I won this challenge as well, although it was very easy. They gave me a big lead to start off with. Okay, I think it's undoubted why 2K is looking to get into the field. I mean, NBA Live's made a boatload of money off of it. It's clear. This is actually a good gaming experience on mobile. It's good. Like, I almost feel incentivized to continue grinding even though I'm not a mobile gamer. I just made an improvement to my team and I felt some gratification from doing that. It's clear 2K's advantage is gonna be gameplay. The game just feels better than NBA Live by every imaginable metric, both on console and on mobile. And you look at the reviews of NBA Live, man, over 400,000 reviews at 4.7. The people that played the game love it. And anyone who is a mobile gamer that wants to play a basketball experience knows that this is the best way to do it.
Well, there's your comparison between the NBA 2K Arcade Edition, available only on iPhones, and NBA Live Mobile, available on Android and iOS. If y'all played both, I want y'all to leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know which one y'all rocking with more. I think 2K just dropped the core of what can be a good mobile experience if they built on it. I'm curious to see how much attention that the mobile version of the game gets, especially considering like a couple weeks ago on the channel, I dropped a video explaining how 2K just engulfed a new dev team. So there's hundreds of new developers at 2K's disposal. And I imagine the mobile is gonna be part of that focus. Hey, y'all new to the channel? Drop a like, subscribe, man. Go ahead, click on this video if you need to, but you don't have to though. Remember, you don't have to. Catch you guys in the next one.